everyone how to solve this question x plus y is equal to 6 and x y is equal to 6 and we'll find out what is the value of x and y in this math question so how to solve this question our need x and y is equal to what so this is our first equation and this is our second equation okay so according to first equation i can see really our first equation is x plus y is equal to 6 then I can see easily here is y is equal to 6 minus x so this is our third equation okay but remember that our second equation is x y is equal to 6 now we'll find out here is y is equal to 6 minus x so if I put this value in this equation, this time I can see easily, it will be x times y, it will be 6 minus x is equal to 6. Then if I multiply this x and this 6, it will be 6x minus x times x, it will be x square is equal to 6. Then <coughs> I can see easily, this equation becomes, it will be 6x minus x square minus 6 is equal to 0 then at this moment if I multiply both side minus this time I can see easily it will be x square minus 6x plus 6 is equal to 0 I multiply both side minus 1 then I can see easily here is uh, it is a quadratic equation here is x square minus 6x plus 6 is equal to 0 and at this moment if I compare this equation with this equation a square plus ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 here is x is equal to minus b plus minus square root b square minus 4 ac over 2a this term I can see easily uh, here is x square minus 6x plus 6 is equal to 0 so in this case I can see easily here is a is equal to 1 and b is equal to minus 6 and c is equal to 6 yes then I can see easily here is x is equal to minus b so minus b is minus 6 plus minus square root b square b is minus 6 so minus 6 whole square minus 4 ac a is 1 and c is 6 over 2a a is 1 then i can see easily here is x is equal to minus minus it will be plus so i can say 6 plus minus square root 36 minus 4 times 6 it will be 24 over 2 then I can see easily here is x is equal to 6 plus minus square root 12 36 minus 24 it will be 12 over 2 yes now at this moment I can see easily it will be 6 plus minus square root 4 times 3 over 2 4 times 3 it will be 12 then I can see it will be 6 plus minus 2 square root 3 over 2 squared 4 it will be 2 and here is the square root 3 then if I find out the value of x this time I can say x is equal to 6 divide 2 I can see it's 6 divide 2 plus minus 2 square root 3 over 2 then 6 divide 2 it will be 3 2 to cancel and we are find out here is x is equal to 3 plus minus square root 3 this is our value of x yes this x it will be 3 plus minus square root 3 okay uh, but at this moment we need the value of y so we'll find out here is x1 is equal to 3 plus square root 3 yes and we'll find out here is x2 is equal to 3 minus square root 3 but our need the value of y remember that our equation third equation 
here is y is equal to 6 minus x yes so at this moment I can see easily y and 6 minus x so x here is 3 minus square root 3 look this is minus so plus minus it will be minus plus minus it will be minus then I can see easily here is y is equal to 3 minus square root 3 <coughs> yes so I can see easily at this moment when x is equal to 3 plus square root 3 3 plus square root 3 this time y is equal to 3 minus square root 3 and again here is x is equal to 3 minus square root 3 so I can see easily y is equal to 6 minus x and 6 uh, minus x so minus 3 plus square root 3 minus minus it will be plus then I can say 3 plus square root 3 so at this moment I can see easily here is x is equal to 1 3 minus square root 3 this time y is equal to 3 plus square root 3 yes this is our final answer let prove out our question is uh, let's verify our question is x plus y is equal to 6 yes and others case x y is equal to 6 now at this moment x is equal to 3 plus square root 3 plus y is equal to 3 minus square root 3 is equal to 6 then I can say easily here is 3 3 cancel so 3 plus 3 it will be 6 and is equal to 6 so I can say easily uh, this and this it is our right answer but others case look x y is equal to 6 yes x y is equal to 6 but x is equal to 3 plus square root 3 yes uh, at this moment I can say 3 plus square root 3 times 3 minus square root 3 this time y is equal to 3 minus square root 3 is equal to 6 then you know that a plus b times a minus b it will be a square minus b square so at this moment I can say easily it will be 3 square minus square root 3 whole square according to algebra rules then 3 square it will be 9 minus square root 3 is cancelled here is 3 so 9 minus 3 it will be 6 so I can see easily uh, x is equal to 3 minus square root 3 and y is equal to 3 plus square root 3 it is also right answer both is right answer thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe my channel for other interesting video goodbye take care